If you take a mouse to school. If you take a mouse to school, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. I can't believe you're taking me to school. Do you happen to have an extra lunchbox? When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. Now, I'm going to need some food for my lunchbox. Could you make me a sandwich? And a snack for later. Don't forget to add a snack. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. So, I'm thinking I might need some supplies. Do you have a notebook and some pencils I could use? He'll probably want to share your backpack, too. You don't mind if I hitch a ride back here, do you? When you get to school, he'll put things in your locker and take a look around. I'm just going to put some of my stuff in your locker. That's okay, right? Ooh, and take me around. I want to see everything. He might do a little math. Math is my specialty. Did you know that 2 plus 2 equals 4? I'm pretty smart for a mouse, aren't I? And spell a word or two. I like to spell, too. C-A-T spells cat. Ooh, but I don't like cats too much. Do you? But my most favorite of all is science. I'm going to mix so many things. I can't wait to see what happens. He'll even try a science experiment. Then he'll need to wash up. Well, that didn't go exactly as planned. Would you mind to take me to the bathroom so I can clean up a little? You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean, he'll be ready for his lunch. Whew! All this schoolwork has made me starving. Let's get my lunchbox. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. But wait a minute. What are those? Building blocks! Oh, well, we've just got to build something before lunch. He'll build a little mouse house and make some furniture out of clay. Well, just hold your horses now. I can't have a house without some furniture. Let's make some. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own, so he'll need a lot of paper. Now I have this fabulous bookshelf, but I don't have any books. Do you mind getting me some paper? I'm going to need to write one. He'll probably use up all your pencils. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Hey, my friend! I know you're a little busy trying to learn, but you've got to hear this story I just wrote. Then he'll want to take it home. So he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. This should be safe right here. No one will find it. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Kick it to me! Kick it to me! Yes! Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. I think I might have held on to the basketball too long. That was quite a ride. And do a little skateboarding. Now skateboarding is more my speed. Let's go faster. Whee! When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for your lunchbox. Whew! All this activity, soccer, basketball, skateboarding has made me hungry. I'm going to need a snack. Do you mind if we get my lunchbox? And chances are 
If he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him back to school. Sorry about that. I guess I shouldn't have hidden the lunchbox at school. But thanks for being a good sport and getting me my snack. You're the best. Giant sized butterflies on my first day of school. I feel so nervous in the morning light. My mom says it'll be all right. But I have giant sized butterflies on my first day. So she makes me some hot oatmeal. It doesn't change the way I feel. How am I to know how it will go on my first day? We're in the car and we're on our way. When we get there, Mom, will you stay on my first day? Then Mom says, when you first came, when we met you, we felt the same. We had giant-sized butterflies on our first day. And if there were some kind of magic spell that could protect like a turtle shell, everyone would be wearing one on their first day. Then mom opens the back seat door and tells me what butterflies are for. Don't hold them in, just let them fly. Cause they were born to be your guide. Like monarchs helping flowers bloom, our butterflies tell us we have room to learn from adventures about to begin on your first day. Those butterflies just help us grow. It's a bit scary, Mom says. I know. Now Mom's beside me and the school's in sight and everything is gonna be all right. It's my first day and my butterflies are giant sized. It's my first day and those butterflies made me realize that the flutters inside are wings opening wide, guiding me through my first day. The end. Titles. Thanks for watching. Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Accessibility provided by the U.S. Department of Education.